elephant story. Uh, me and my sister were younger, my dad took us to this cliff behind me to show us his hobby of cliff jump. For me, it didn't go too well. I was scared of heights, and my sister decided to push me in the back, leading to me tumbling into a belly flop that knocked the air out of me. It's obviously not safe, and I'm going to teach you now how to go about it in a safer manner. The first thing you want to do when you get there is check the water depth. You obviously don't want to hit the bottom. You could end up with some broken legs if you don't do this. A good way to do that is you bring a weight and a dry rope and you drop it in the water and when it hits the bottom, bring it back up and measure how, how uh, to the point where the wetness stops. Um, a good rule is 30 to 40 feet and you of uh, cliff and you want 12 foot of depth. Next, I suggest you wear shoes. There aren't going to be signs like this that warn you but these places do get wet when you're climbing in and out of the water. And when you go to push off from the rock, or even climbing up the side of a rock face to get to a cliff, if you slip, you're going to hurt yourself. <coughs> Next, you want to check for hidden rocks that could be underwater. You know you check the depth, but there could be jagged rocks like the one shown back here. This isn't, you wouldn't want to jump here, <laughs> obviously. A um, good way to do this is you swim around beforehand, go deep, Check around, check. Um, that's really the most you can do. Um, try and aim for a darker spot. That means it's deeper. And then you also want to go up to the cliff and look down and make sure there's no obstacles like a branch. I've had to cut a branch down before, but I wouldn't suggest that because you never know what else is going to fall with it. They aren't. They're cliff sides. They're not really stable. Um, and no rocks jutting out at the bottom. Some cliffs tend to do that. Going along with that, you want to jump out, not up. A lot of people make this mistake their first time and land way too close to the bottom of the cliff face. Because they're like, oh, I'm like pumped up, I want to jump up, you got to jump out. Make sure you clear it and you're not hitting anything with your feet or the rest of your body on the way down. And then also, lastly, you don't want to fall like <laughs> this guy or me my first time. You want to go in like a pencil. It sounds pretty weird, but especially if it's your first time, you can start doing flips and stuff later. But you always want to land feet first, go in, and then open up once you're underwater to kind of slow yourself down and begin swimming upwards. <coughs> also take a deep breath, because sometimes you go in deep and you want to be able to get up in time. Uh, I also suggest that you always go with friends or family or someone else. Never just go jump off a cliff. It's not a good idea. <laughs> you want someone there in case these tips don't work and it goes terribly wrong that can assist you. Call 911 if necessary. And a lifeguard or a strong swimmer is definitely a good positive. So now with these tips, hopefully this is me back at the spot a couple years later with my friends for my birthday. So hopefully with these tips you can go find a cliff and make this one of your hobbies that I like. It only took one push from my sister, and now I'm hooked. Mm -hmm. Thank you.